My name is Perry Davies and welcome to my channel. I'm here at Mammoth Mountain to do some camping and skiing and figured I'd bring you along for the ride. Alright, so typically when I camp at Mammoth I get a tent camping spot, but that didn't happen this time because I didn't call them ahead of time and surprisingly enough with as much snow that's in this campground, they're all full up this weekend. So I had to get an RV spot. I was here two weeks ago and I will show you pictures right now of what it looked like two weeks ago and you will see that I was uh, sleeping in my hammock and had to build a little shelter around it with the different tarp that I had on top of it to keep me warm at night. I spent three nights here last time I was here and today I will not be sleeping in my hammock. I brought my hammock but I don't have any trees in my spot so I will be sleeping in the back of my truck and I'll show you my sleep system and how I set up the tarp and everything for that. I always bring a snow shovel with me when I go camping in the snow. It's a pretty good idea. This is my avalanche shovel so I guess you could bring a snow shovel that you would use to shovel your walkway at home but I have my uh, Autobox Avalanche shovel from back in the 90s when I bought it and it's still trucking right along nice and sturdy so I bring it with me uh, anytime I go camping in the snow. So the first thing I like to do when I get to the campsite is get a fire going because I'm going to get some charcoal going too and cook some chicken on my grill because they don't have a grill here because it's probably buried in the snow. So I'm going to show you how to set up a fire on snow. So the first thing you have to do is make sure the area that you're going to have a fire on in the snow is packed down, otherwise your fire is just going to sink in the snow rapidly. So you want to make sure you have a good hard base. And then the second thing you want to do is lay some logs down. Now typically if I was here all day long I would have put some uh, big logs down on top of the snow earlier, buried them in snow, let them soak up some water and everything. and come back a couple hours later and then put the logs on top of that and build a fire but I don't have that luxury right now so I'm just gonna put some logs down throw some snow on top of them and start a fire now because the snowpack is so low right here I'm just doing this just to show you how to do it you don't have to pile snow on top of the wood when the snow is only a couple inches deep you can just dig down to the ground but if the snow is five or six feet deep and I didn't want to have to sit around a fire that was buried six feet underneath the snow you're gonna to want to get those logs as wet as possible in the bottom layer before you build your fire on top all right I'm gonna baton some wood I've had this knife for a long time it's my sog seal pup yeah I like it I've had it for probably maybe about 13 years batoned a lot of wood with it laid some fish with it I've never skinned an animal with it but it's a good knife still sharp as the day I bought it One of my favorite things to do the first night of my camp is to cook some chicken. So I brought some chicken in my cooler and I got some corn. Let's see what else I have in here. I'll just throw those straight on the grill. I got some salsa, some chicken thighs, which is my favorite. I like to cook the chicken thighs and get them nice and crispy. And then I got my uh, two barbecue sauces. I, I like to use Famous Dave's and Sweet Baby Ray's. I like to mix them half and half. And oh my, what, where did this, I don't know where this came from. Huh. All right, somebody must have stuck that in there. And this is my uh, Yeti cooler that I absolutely love. It's perfect for when I go camping. It's really tiny and it keeps things just cold, which is not a problem right now, but in the summertime, it's awesome. So I am gonna show you the spices that I use on my chicken and exactly how I cook it. So as you can see, I have my charcoal cooking ready to go. I got the logs over here. They've been soaking in the snow for about a half hour now and I'm gonna get ready to start that fire up here in a few minutes. And over here I have my dinner. Write this down. I like to put garlic powder on the chicken, kicking chicken. I use a little bit of apple chipotle. I also put this in the fire and it gives a really good flavor. I use a little Texas 
chicken tickler too. So I put all four of these on and some black pepper, let it sit there for about 20 minutes and then throw it on the grill. All right, so the chicken's been on the grill for some time and now I got a blend of Dave's and Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and I'm gonna coat those bad boys up on both sides, let them caramelize and chow down. And my corn is actually wrapped in tin foil sitting on the fire over there. The chicken is done and looking excellent. By the way, if you've ever cooked over a charcoal grill at altitude, you have to put the chicken on or whatever it is you're cooking while the coals are still hot and you need to leave the lid cracked off a lot more than you would at home because the coals will just go out so you have to make sure you have good oxygen flow. So I got my chicken, the corn is absolutely done perfect. Got my salsa, wine, some chips, got some more chicken down here on standby and a nice fire. Another weekend of snow camping. Morning, it's about 7.30 in the morning and I had a pretty good night's sleep. It wasn't too bad last night, it was a little chilly, but usually the first night when I sleep at the campground, I don't sleep very well, but last night I slept pretty good. So I'll go ahead and show you my system that I set up over here. Typically I would set up my hammock at the campsite, but I didn't have that. And I've done this setup a couple of times and it's kind of a pain, but I slept in the back of the pickup truck and set a tarp up over the top of it. And it seems that no matter how many times I set this tarp up, it still takes a lot longer than I thought. My hammock tarp set up over the top of the truck bed, got it roped down, and I use my tent poles inside. And basically I just have an air mattress in there. I have my uh, snug pack sleeping blanket, which is only rated to about 30 degrees. But I also have the uh, Horizon Hound down blanket that I bought that it's really super lightweight and I just stuffed that inside my bag and, and I'm good. I haven't slept with this system below zero, but I've slept with the system down to five, 10 degrees at night and been okay. You know, I mean, you know how it goes. You get up to use the bathroom and get back in and you gotta warm the whole thing up again. But um, once I get in there and I get toasty, uh, warm with the body heated up, um, good to go. With that said, let's go skiing.
drop me off in at Laguna Beach? Uh, in a couple of days. Alright, I'm in. I was too lazy to walk there. Just finished skiing, and now I'm doing my favorite thing, which is I come to Burgers, which is in downtown Mammoth, right across the street from the town center. And I'm having a nice, big, bacon cheeseburger and a couple of beers. All right, well that wraps up my ski trip. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe button and feel free to comment below with any questions or things you think you want to see me do. And I never get tired of this view. I always have a really hard time going home because it's so pretty up here. I just don't